Look at those big numbers. A result of getting a high score and doing the little side chapter. Good source of experience. I haven't done a single training exercise, grinding mission or whatever they're called, yet. And so that's that kind of boost is helpful. I don't really want to use the do those either. They seem like I don't know. I I I'd like I'd like to, I'd like to think the games are just balanced difficulty wise. That you play through them and that's the way that the progression works out, but you never know. You never know. Also, I totally meant to go to the funeral location, but I guess we're going here now. <laughs> the clash at Nagiar concludes. <laughs> I meant to visit the uh, graveyard. Whoops. The morning of the 28th brought news of the Galleon forces' victory, victory at Nagiar. Though the exact figures are still unclear, it is safe to say that this win came at significant cost in Galleon lives, with at least as many Imperial casualties to match. That cost might have been far greater had a second Valkyria not emerged from among the Galleon force. In a duel fought with the lances and shields of legend, it was the Galleon women who claimed victory, and the remaining Imperial defenses soon fell, uh, fell soon after. Though army officials have issued no comment on the Galleon Valkyria, the survivors of the Nagyar operation likely have her to thank for their lives. Refugee issue crosses borders. The EHRI, Euro uh, European Human Rights Initiative, has asked the continent's leaders to address mounting refugee uh, problem. Armed conflict and displaced people have long gone hand in hand, but the current condition of Europa has refugee numbers higher than ever recorded, and the question of how to help them is fast becoming a paramount issue. EHRI volunteers are slated to be sent to camps all over the continent, to offer much-needed food and medical treatment to their inhabitants. Ben Tamal, an EHRI spokesman uh, ha who has worked on behalf of refugees for two decades, stated, Man's hopes for peace are hollow without the will to cast aside superficial differences in race, nation, and religion in order to win it. Any follow-up chapter? Oh, you do have new material? Oh my god. She has new things, apparently. Wow. Peace on Welkin, Captain Verat, and Alicia. Signs of awakening. Wow. Are we even gonna get to the next mission chapter in this episode? I don't even know if we're, if we're gonna do the next chapter in this one. I think we might just play a bunch of side quests. I mean, I'm cool with it. I don't know why we have to do it this way. Just, just have them show up in the story, but whatever. Although they could be DLC for all we know. This is the later version of the game that comes with all the DLC they late they made eventually, and so for all I know, anything in this menu might be DLC. I actually don't know how that stuff fits into the game, but I it's pro that if there's anywhere that would fit in naturally, it'd be that exact menu. So we'll see. I meant to go to the cemetery first. That was my mistake. Give me. Ooh, we get heal all. Wow, that's actually a big deal. Be able to heal everybody for ten yeah ten thousand experience. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fantastic. That could really come in handy in a bad situation, just heal everybody. Although it depends a lot on how much it costs. That's not the one I meant to click on. This is everybody's stats. There's a barracks, command room, and training field. And I, I even though it's obvious when you get to training field, I, I I'll constantly click on the other two on accident thinking I'm going here. I'm like, wait a minute, that was a mistake. That's not what I meant. Yay, that should make our Lancers elites. And we should have plenty of experience to make our engineers elites, too. I actually don't know if there's a class rank above elite. But this is how we get our special abilities. Alright, what about Lancers? Tell me. They got new potential, too. And those are class up. Good. That's what we want. You're elites. Alright. Get the engineers up. Even their elite rank only costs 12k. It's like the game's ba specifically balanced its experience to think of them as an afterthought. They're so far behind every other character as far as cost goes. There we go, we have a full squad of elites across the entire board. Good news. I would like to level up my scouts and my snipers. And that'll be it for now. It'll be our first level 12s. There we go. 
obviously you gotta keep leveling up your scouts because they're like the biggest deal in this game. I only paused for a while because we had to uh, level up the other characters up, up to uh, elite. You learn caution. This order protects one ally by reducing damage taken from enemy interception fire. Fantastic. If I can make one person take the reduced interception fire, we could make a lot of progress in those moments where I'm trying to run behind a uh, tank to take it out, for example. That sounds really useful. That sounds very useful indeed. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. in the final battle, this royal award. Thank you, Your Highness. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. It almost sounds like a localization problem or something or a glitch when she keeps she keeps saying for your for your help in the final battle and she keeps saying final battle over and over again as if it's the end of the war and something about that line that doesn't read right right I'm not crazy am I that sounds that sounds like the wrong thing to say absolutely upgrade our rifles two classes use that maybe it's just me but final battle seems like a weird thing to say after every battle because every time I get an I get an award after every battle now. And she always says that for your for your performance in the final battle, and I'm like, the final battle? What final battle? I'm about to go to the next battle, so it wasn't the final one. It's, it just seems weird. Like, for your decisive move in the previous battle, or something like that, maybe is what you'd expect them to say. But it almost feels like a mistranslation from between uh, previous and final. Like, or like last, like how people will say last battle to mean previous one but they translate into final instead, instead of instead of last. And when you call it final, it means something completely different. Cool, we got both of our characters upgraded armor. That's good news. Any major upgrades for the Edelweiss where I can just get a flat upgrade for it? Yeah, we can. Bonus armor, period. Absolutely. Or I mean, bonus uh, piercing round damage for the anti-armor shell. Fantastic. Always happy to get upgrades that don't require slots. Wow, this one takes us way back. So Signs of Awakening happens right after the Battle of Barius, which is the... That was the first time we ever encountered... Yeah, it was right after our, our two chapters in the desert, when we first encountered the enemy of Valkyria, and we had to encounter the giant enemy tank where we were throwing debris in front of it. And it's when, uh... It's when, like, when our friend uh, started seeing the first signs that were going to lead to him attacking. Interesting. So in here we have something involving Alicia and uh, the and what I'll call the betrayer, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it takes place chronologically right after Barry's apparently, and apparently has a battle in it. It's really weird to suddenly gain this access to this now. Let's check it out. Uh, Barry's once more. Hey, Welkin. They called you in too, Faldio? Yeah, looks like they've got all the squad leaders assembled. Must be something big. It looks like all of you made it. You probably already guessed why you're here now. The militia will be staging a suppression op using all of its forces. A suppression op, Captain? As you know, the Empire has a series of camps spread throughout the Barius Badlands. Each of your squads will work separately to strike them simultaneously. I see. If we attack them at the same time, we won't have to worry about reinforcements. Correct. Welkin, your squad will take the camp located atop the northern Barius Mesa. Yes, Captain. 
The operation begins tomorrow morning. Be sure you're fully rested. Dismissed. Here we go, taking the Barrier's Highlands. Well, if nothing else, it'd be an experience opportunity. Let me catch you up on the current situation. Remnants of the Empire's force were spotted setting up camp in the Highland region of the Barrier's Badlands. Your squad will split up between North and South to cut off their escape route. You'll have to weather their counteroffensive as you make your way to the summit. Your objective here is to occupy their base camp. So take their camp, don't die, don't let them take our base, which would be impressive because that's like the opposite of what this situation even entails. I have to really mess up at that, mess up at that point, right? Don't let everyone die. Don't take 20 turns. All right, going in heavy on this position with two shock troopers, two recon, a sniper, and a lancer. One, one each in in here we've got a Largo and Rosie like we often do. Up here it's going to be Welkin and Alicia. You have zero control over that. They're just the, those two are alone on the top while you put six people on the bottom. Why they would do a six-two split? Not entirely sure. Aside from the fact that of course Welkin's here. This is back in time, so there's no uh, there's no second tank. And uh, actually, Welkin's sister's still alive, so that could be awkward. We'll see how this goes. You'll commence combat now. Stay sharp out there. This one's gonna be big. Be careful out there, Sevens. Squad Seven, move out. Here, I thought I escaped this desert. What kind of weirdos would set up camp at the top of a rocky hill like this? Well, gravity makes attacks from high places more dangerous. Maybe that's it. Either way, we should watch out for fire from above. They have boulder traps like the Yellow Turban Army. I'm gonna lose my shit. Cause that'd be pretty amazing, actually. Alright, let's go forward with the Edelweiss first. He can take a hit. Ladders. Well, doesn't that seem tricksy? I wonder if they're gonna go straight for my base or not. We'll find out. Well, those sure are Lancers. Is anyone covering these Lancers? Answer sure seems to be no. There's a lot of mines that I have to be careful around those because I don't have any, uh... I do not have an engineer over here. I couldn't deploy one. You can't just do that, though. I was thinking about using Alicia to get past them, but... I mean, I can just attack them directly with my big-ass machine gun. Which kind of nullifies the Lancer threat at first. That said, I don't know... Wow, one shot, one kill. They're kind of low on hit points, aren't they? If they're, if they're that killable via rockets and so on, when they're supposed to have anti-armor. Oh yeah, they're not elite lancers. I wonder why they're low level. Story-wise, it makes sense that they'd be, like, it's between the other two level missions, so it's it, it, not crazy that they'd be kind of low level. It just seems odd based on when the mission unlocked. Because I've never had the ability to buy this mission before. I check every single mission. Between every mission, I check to see if I can buy a new one or not. And I couldn't buy this one yet. Wow, I actually made it, I actually made it past those uh, mines. The first few, at least. Well, uh, look at that guy. There's a guy watching us. Oh, I wouldn't want to get shot. Whoa, he's actually got line of sight of our spawn. Well, screw this guy, huh? Just gonna slowly make our way up there and boop. Go, go, Marina. Sweet dreams. I guess if they're gonna give me a ladder, I don't really need to slowly walk up. Oh. Oh. They've got a tank. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back over. I'm gonna go back over here now. <laughs> um. The tank's not good news, I would say. Let's send Wavy up there. He can take the ladder. See how this goes. That's a... Wasn't that anticipating an enemy tank? Oh, hi. 
He just he's not very observant. Whoopsie. Your orders, sir. Ta da. Um that one's all blocked up, I guess. I assume I can't go past it with a scout either. No. Nope. What's it look like up here? This is the top of their base. Wow. That's a big crew. Enemy sighted. No, wow, yeah, they got they got units all over. Multiple shock troopers. Well, I can't exactly hop behind a sandbag over here. And I can't even shoot again, so I should go take cover. I'll hang out over here. But if they come down here, at least I'll be kind I'll try to be ready for them, but I don't know. There's some only so much that can be done. We're gonna need some covering fire. If I'm lucky, I can get Largo behind the big bad. We'll see how that goes. The ladder might help. I also might be exceptionally powerful compared to a tank at this point. Yeah. I might be able to get behind him. Because if he comes up, he's just going to carve straight through my units. And that'd be bad. For reasons. So I'd like to avoid that eventuality if I can. Can I aim down there? No. Not really. What if I run over here a little bit? Taking hits very slowly. They're not very damaging so far. Oh no. Well, screw me, right? Alright, what about what about a grenade? I don't have a grenade because I'm a lancer. Okay. Well, screw your guys' cover anyway. That didn't really work out. I tried. Not sure what I'm gonna do about that tank. I actually find it genuinely frustrating that, uh... In this game, it just feels like such a natural response to try to go up a ladder and sneak up behind a, an enemy like that. And the game seems to kind of punish me for trying that. Because so far... Uh... Well, you get, you get the issue where you can't aim up and down properly. And so you can't aim up... Like, the idea of, like, oh yeah, go up on that ledge, aim down at the big weak spot, shoot it. It's, like, just a thing you can't do in this game. Okay. There's a lot of bad guys around here. I'm gonna try. I can't throw a grenade up there? What kind of soldier are you? You can't throw a grenade up there. Really. Right there. That's silly. You're silly. You're a silly boy. Alright, well, fuck. We don't have a lot of positions to take, do we? So there's no cover around here. There's... Vulcan will be coming up here, I guess. So he can, he could kind of cover us if he doesn't get obliterated. Um, I only get one more soldier to move. Juno's probably a good call. It'll give me the opportunity to get one more character up there, but she's also got a rock... she got a grenade launcher, so at least that'll be a little helpful. I can stir things up around here. That'll be able to aim up there, probably. Yeah, good old grenade launchers, right? Get this mortar in there. Uh, how do I tell if it's when it's targeting him? Did I get him yet? No. Isn't it supposed to turn yellow when it passes over him? I'll just have to wing it. Maybe that's it. Did I get it? E Ooh, I got it. Wow. Wow. How many did I get? I got two of them. Wow. Okay. I'll stand over here next to this guy. We can help cover each other. Alright, come get me, tank. <laughs> um... Largo's probably in trouble. If he doesn't go down, though, I can probably go down that ladder and sneak up behind him. I just can't reasonably move that far with the Lancer in one turn. My whole strategy hinged on the idea of being able to shoot down at him, but, uh... He can't aim down. I don't know why, but he can't. Woo! Well, right side is their tank sucks at aiming, so that's a good... That's a good note for me. Uh-oh. He's gonna try to aim again. Haven't you learned from the last time? Is, that, is he gonna take my base? With the tank? Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Marina doesn't live very long in the in my sessions sometimes. Huh. 
I'm kind of surprised he didn't. I'm a little surprised he didn't target the uh, sniper. I mean the uh, the shock trooper. They cannot damage uh, Largo from there apparently. That is some hilariously low damage. I guess that's the different. I guess that's us fighting under leveled characters. I guess there's that there really is that much RPG in here, huh? Where the stats get affected by that. It's interesting. I've never really had the chance to be more powerful than my opponents, so I didn't know, not really used to the concept of what this looks like. They were willing to spend a lot of AP on uh, the tank. Alrighty then. Gonna go ahead and send Largo back. It's not really his fight over here. Wow. They did so little damage it automatically regenerated. That's pretty impressive. Hello. Just gonna pop down here. This has gotta be a pretty good view, right? I have some faith in this shot. Come on. Give me one of those one shot, one kills. There we go. That wasn't so hard. So what I should have done is just moved Largo once and waited at the top of the ladder, and then come came back right down the ladder right when the tank passed. And that would, that's what I would do in hindsight, like knowing what I know now. Uh, I think that was I think my original plan was valid though. Just go up on the ledge behind him, get behind him, shoot down, bam. Same thing that worked with John last time. But aim restrictions. Largo's got a bad back, you see, so he can't aim more down more than like 20 degrees, otherwise he's just gonna have to give up on leaf. Song of Peace? What's that one do? That's a new one. I'm curious. I don't- I actually don't know what that- what that just did. Oh, if only I knew where the bad guy was. There's a bad guy up there somewhere. Ah, oh, I can't throw up there anyway. Alright. We try things. Let's move Alicia. My turn, okay? Give us another perspective, because she's got this ladder access over here. Might be able to mortar one of these spots from behind. Enemy Hi. I mean, you're not guarding this one over here, so I'm just gonna go right up, really. Should've thought about that. He's, he's just kinda over there, huh? Interesting tactic there. I think I'm just gonna ignore him, honestly. Oh look! It's their cover, and I am behind it. Have fun. Try to get this right on him. Goodbye, cover. Yeah, he's dead. Other one's unaffected, but... He, he didn't even turn around to look at me. That's great. Oh, there goes their cover. Got a lot of shock troopers in there. So people like Rosie are good choices. But I'll send my other mortar characters in first, because that's a strong ability to use against these guys. Before I get right up in there. There we go. There's the yellow that I was looking for. Bye! It was nice knowing you. Who are you? <laughs> There's one tiny mine over there, but that's about it. This is just close enough to be doing interception fire if they try to run around. And interception fire has a tendency to end their turn, so it seems like a good choice to me. And this guy's- this, uh, Juno's got their once every turn grenade also. Oh, hi, there's a tank. Um, didn't necessarily fully think about that one. Although if I destroy these guys hard enough, I can just take their- their flag. Depending on how big the square is defined on the map. It doesn't look very big. It looks like just that one soldier's inside of it, and nobody else. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that one soldier looks like they're all the only one inside there. What if I... No. Orders. Caution. Resistance to interception fire. This is an order! This is an order! Caution. With caution. Stay sharp. Go, go, Alicia. There we go. She's just gonna run up to that person who's standing straight up anyway. 
shoot them in their face and take their base. I've got a lot of C A P. Ow. Do 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 do. Hello. Gotcha. Is that other guy counting as being in here right now? Because that's a problem for me. If he is, I'll have to take a whole extra turn to shoot him in the head too. Nope. Video games. That giant tank. Just gonna have to give up now because video games. Bye. It's mine now. You can't have it. Operation complete. We took their base. A rank. Ooh. Another 3,600 experience. Ah, uh, 3,600 money. Ah, <laughs> uh, DCT. And uh, yeah, good 22, 2,300 experience. Not much experience, ultimately. Why am I trying... <laughs> I keep looking at the top right corner and doing math when I can just look at the bottom of the screen where it already tells me the sums. We'll just ignore that. The part where I'm an idiot. Good to see you. Looks like you made it through. You too. And the other squads are back. Seems the Barrier suppression was successful. Lieutenant Gunther. We've made camp for the night, sir. Okay, great. Let's finish setting the... Hmm? Alicia, your arm's bleeding. Are you alright? Huh? Oh. Something this small should heal up in no time. I'll be fine. Here, let me take a look. Huh. You've been shot. Lucky thing it only hit your arm. Does it hurt bad? Uh, a little. It doesn't look too deep, but it still needs to be properly dressed. Sit tight, I'll get you patched up. You still need to finish getting Squad 7 settled. Thanks, Valdio. I know she'll be in good hands. Please, leaving a lady to bleed would go against my gentleman's morals. Well, thank you, Faldio. The funny thing is there's an in-game explanation for getting shot, because I got her shot a lot at the end there. That said, um... I wonder if I could have easily beaten that in one turn, because I, I, uh... I, the first time I controlled Alicia, within one turn, I moved her all the way to the base and captured it. I wonder if a lot... If, it depends. There's, there were a decent number of troops at that opening, so it might have taken more work than that. Unearthly light. Say Wilkin. Already asleep, huh? Eh, no worries. I guess I'll just come back tomorrow. Huh? Alicia. What's going on? Okay, well that's better evidence than anything else he ever said about her being a, Valkyr a Valkyrie. The part where she starts crazily glowing in the middle of the night. That's not bad. Signs. It's another big day for Squad 7. Oh, morning, Isara. Here, let me help you with that. Thank you kindly, Alicia. Are you certain your arm is all right? Fine. Ugh. See? No problem, even with the heavy stuff. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Just be sure you take it slow. I will. Thanks. Alicia. Oh, Faldio. Thanks again for yesterday. Sure. 
Tell me, how is your arm doing now? I woke up this morning and it was all better. It isn't even sore anymore. Not at all. I've had bruises last a week and yours was a gunshot. Ever since I was a kid, I've been quick to recover. Bet you're jealous, huh? <laughs> um... Well, just as long as you're all right. Still, be sure to take it slow. <laughs> Isara just said the same thing. Mike? Oh, hi, Hans. What, is it time for breakfast? Mike! Mike! I'd better get cooking, then. Well, I've got to head off. Sure. Don't want people going hungry. Alicia. Yeah, I feel like they could have shown that before, honestly. It would have made the story feel a bit more cohesive, because there would have been, like, foreshadowing to the idea of her being a Valkyrie. Maybe skip the glowing scene and show that later as, like, a flashback to when he's justifying his behavior or something. But, uh, the little hint of, like, oh yeah, look, she got she got shot, but she healed kind of fast. And then just moving on, like, that little, that little, like, dropping that little detail would make this, the... Uh, make the story feel like it was going somewhere a little more, rather than just having it kind of happen out of nowhere. Especially since we're talking about, like, we're talking about the first ten chapters of the game, where the story was kind of feeling kind of slow and... Like, it was kind of plodding along, so the idea that there were there were seeds of a story here that were going to set up stuff for later, but they just chose to not show it to you seems like a questionable choice, because that would have felt like we were going somewhere with things like, Oh, weird, she's healing fast, what could that mean? And then you'd learn more information over over time that might l l lead towards that conclusion. Instead, I'd never... Instead, I don't get any of those details, but then ultimately find out she's a Valkyrie in advance anyway, because the game, because the, uh, the book uh, structure constantly spoils that stuff in advance. So it wasn't a surprise she was a Valkyrie anyway, but this would have made the... This would have made the story felt more... formed. Next, we'll have, uh, two more reports to catch up on next.